Okay, so what we're going to talk about today and what you'll learn today. We're going to talk a little bit about how a dog show works. So some of you may know and feel real comfortable with that, but other people may have questions about how it works. So we are going to go through just the basics of how it works, how the classes work, um, and, and sort of how it all works as you get up to, to best in show. We're going to talk about what a show dog needs to know. So specifically, what are the behaviors that a show dog needs to know in order to be ready to compete? We're going to talk about the basics of how to train those core behaviors. And the way I do it is to break it up just into three core behaviors, and then everything is split off um, down from there. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk a little bit about how to problem solve um, show ring issues. So if your dog has a specific issue um, with showing or with the ring or with the behavior, we're going to talk about how to problem solve those. We're going to talk about a little bit about how to get involved in confirmation. Um, a little bit about what dog training instructors can do to help their confirmation clients, which is a request that I've had from a lot of people who are professional trainers who train basic puppy classes and things like that, and then they get show dogs coming in and sort of don't know what to do with those dogs. So, gentle handling. Um, another thing you need to make sure you cover before you start showing. It is important that your dog is very used to... Um, being handled and very comfortable with being handled. So, um, I mean handled by a stranger, someone they've never seen before, that may have on a lot of perfume, or may have on a hat, or may have on a big coat, or could be scary, you know? They need to be cool with someone like that coming up, and, and not just walking up, but putting their hands all over them, looming over them, maybe even. Um, so, they need to be not just kind of comfortable with it, they need to be really cool with it because it can be a very scary experience if something happens and they're not prepared for that. Um, socialization exposure for show puppies is a must. If you have a puppy and you know you're going to show it, you have to get that puppy out there and get him used to everything, um, particularly friendly strangers and people touching his body. So you can do a lot of handling and touching their body and getting them comfortable with it. Um, but you also want other people to do it. You know, always respecting the puppy's comfort level, but getting them out there so they're okay with that. If your dog exhibits any shyness or fear um, in handling, he's not ready to be shown. I feel very strongly about that. If a dog is not comfortable with people putting his hands on him, they should not be exposed to that. It's not ethical. It's frightening. Um, so think about your worst fear and if you were forced to do it, and look pretty, and look like you were having fun doing it. It would be really hard. Here's a couple of dogs being stacked on the table that you can see video of. So this is Ribbon. She's finished. She was just being a sport the other day and letting me do this. See, I get the food out right there. There's your cookie. Boom, boom. Her front dropped pretty true where I wanted it, and she's good. So if you get practice, it could be that fast. Okay, then this is um, Rosie, a little cavalier that... I sometimes show, same thing, as front as forward as I can, boom, boom, and she's done. And again, it's because we play this game all the time, we practice all the time, it's not a big deal, the dog gets on the table, gets stacked up, holds it, gets down, gets stacked up, get on the table, holds it, gets down. Not a big deal, they're comfortable with it. The next piece then would be holding it and having someone touch them while you do it. So things to think about get into a routine. What you do with your lead, how you pick up the dog, how you, how you get it all set up. Get a routine so it happens easily. Keep in mind you only have about two minutes of the judge's attention. So don't waste 30 seconds trying to get the dog to look pretty. When you're showing the dog and the, last do the dog in front of you, with the dog on the table, when the dog in front of you actually starts their pattern, which we'll talk about later, you can go ahead and get your dog set up. By the time the judge turns around, I want my dog good to go. I'm not going to mess with anything when the judge has turned around and is looking at my dog on the table. So either while that dog in front of me is doing their pattern, I'm getting my dog set up, or when that dog in front of me is going around the ring, I'm getting my dog set up. But it's, I want to be, be good at it so that it can happen fast, and I'm not going to have to worry about the judge turning around and here's my dog all crooked and twisted up on the table looking hideous. I want it to be like, boom, here we are. Okay, so I'm just going to walk up here. Stop. See that? Oh, I like where that ended up. So if I stop with him and there, step, yes. 
Good boy. Walk up. Step. Yes. Step. Yes. Good. So just like anything else, yes. Nice. You get all that for that one. Do you guys see how he fixed him perfectly? Good. And it's just because of the position of the food. Let's do that one more time. Don't help yourself, please. Don't help yourself, please. Okay. So we walk up and stop. I actually like where he is, maybe a little closer together. Step. Yes. Good. Step. Yes. Good. Good boy. And then just like anything else, once the dog understands that step means moving his front feet, he will begin to try other things with his front feet. So right now it's just step. Yes. He's just moving that front foot, right? But eventually, if you keep working on this, if you say step and you don't like how it ends, how the dog lands it, if you stay step again, they'll move the other foot or they'll fix that one. So they'll start to learn step means do something with my front. And then if they end up getting in the right position and then you start reinforcing that, then they go, oh, I get it. It's stand like this.